All right, what's up, guys? So, Chilling uh, Scares has uploaded a video titled 10 Most Disturbing Things Caught on Doorbell Camera Footage. Yeah, I like these videos. Even though it's scary, I like them. And I feel like, you know, we got to get in that festive mood. We got to get into that, like, that Halloween mood and stuff. Even though it ain't even October yet. But I still, you know, at times, I got to react to some scary videos and things. So, anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and check out this video. Look like it's already starting off crazy. Uh, but yeah, make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Chilling Scares for more videos like this. Um, very close to hitting 100k. So yeah, let's let's do that. People get into 100k. But anyways. You just gotta start like, I don't know, swinging, shooting, whatever. Because I'm like, you obviously here to kill somebody, so. In this first video, Split up to this house's ring with. doorbell captured a man walk up to the front door in the middle of the night. But... Rather than actually knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell, the man pretends to do so. At first it seems odd, until you realize what's actually going on. Near the left side of the screen, a car's headlights can be seen. It's clear, whoever is driving the vehicle is making this guy walk up and talk to the house owner for a seemingly sinister purpose, as the guy obviously doesn't want to do it. I mean, so much so that he fakes knocking on the door wow. and even fakes a conversation with the house owner. All the while, making sure the driver can see him doing so. That's crazy. That is crazy. So the entire time. That's crazy. I honestly, I'm like, well, I ain't even got to do my part. I thought I was going to have to join in on that conversation. So, yeah, that's odd. That's something where I'm like, man, you need, like, a backstory to, like, understand, like, why was he doing that? Because that's, that's, that's confusing. That's crazy. From the fake conversation. It's clear the driver wants the man to look for someone named Matt. Yeah. One comment guessed the man could have been being forced to rob the place, but didn't mm. want to do it, making him fake the whole situation and claim no Matt lived there. Yeah. But to this day, the real motives of the driver are still unclear. That's crazy. I hope that like video I hope that video goes viral enough so the guy can like explain why or something. Cause that's confusing. I'm like I don't even know, like, and then it's like to also be like the homeowner, then you're like, well, why, why did that guy happen to me? How come that couldn't happen? Like, it ain't even my house, but I'm like, fam, what was the reason? Like, that's crazy. This footage features a random woman walking up to someone's front door. She does not look the right. clearly isn't acting normal, or at least until a car passes. Her eyes so just came in. So as not to draw attention to herself. After the car is gone, the woman can be seen putting her face right up to the camera. That's crazy. What was that freaking um, Marilyn Manson? Hold on for a second. She looked like that Marilyn Manson cover for... Hold on. Let me find that song real quick. Because I just I just added that song. And I, nah. Was it that? No, I'm thinking. No, it wasn't that. She does look like him, though. Like, at some parts. But it was, like, up in the camera, like, how she was. Yeah, it was... It might have been something else. I don't know. After watching the disturbing <clears throat> footage, the house owner would claim he had no idea who the woman was. I'm... That's crazy. This doorbell camera video shows the horrifying early stages of a fire in a neighbor's property. Wow. As the video goes on, you can see as the fire gradually continues to grow. That's crazy. So much so that it eventually reaches the house with the doorbell camera. At the time of oh, the fire, wow. the house owner himself was asleep. Though he would be woken up by multiple notifications on his phone, claiming motion was detected by his doorbell camera. Mm. After reviewing the footage, the household That's would good. frantically run to get a fire extinguisher and desperately attempt to put the fire out. That's crazy. Oh. It's like, dang, it's like surrounding. Bro, it's like, you gotta leave out the back. Hey. Like, I know, it's like, what is you doing, bruh? Bruh, he's really, it's, bro, it's, give it up, man. Give it up. It's too late. He really, he's like, no, 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 I got it, I got it. He's like, I did this on San Andreas. Remember they had fire extinguishers on there? He's like, no, I got it. 
it's pretty safe to say that the motion detected notifications that woke up the house owner saved his life that night. Yeah. It's probably good. Yeah, it probably is good to invest in this one of those ring cameras. Woman, frantically knocking on this house's front door. As she continues to do so, she can be seen constantly looking behind her. And that's when you realize why. A man walks up to the woman and proceeds to grab her firmly, telling her to get wow. into the car. All the while, the woman can be heard pleading for him to stop. That's crazy. Yeah, it's like you have to help a woman like that. You can't. It's just all the different stories and crap that you hear. It's, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Yeah. The man in the video was later identified to be 20-year-old Victor Kucic, and he would ultimately be charged with third-degree felony kidnapping. Yeah, it's like, bruh, if the woman don't want to go with you, it's like... This ring doorbell starts off showing the house owner simply doing her laundry. Though, before she can even enter the laundry room, she can be seen pausing. And the audio from the clip makes it clear as to why. A voice can be heard desperately pleading for help. Oh, wow. It's unclear as to where the voice is coming from. Clearly disturbed and worried it could have been someone hiding around her property, the woman would end up calling the police. Yeah, I didn't see anybody out on the road or any cars or anything. So I went back to my ring video to make sure I wasn't just courageous voice hearing something. I can hear somebody saying something, but so, I can't. Well, I posted it on there. The police would search the whole property, but find absolutely nothing. And to this day, it's still unclear whose voice was oh, that's talking, crazy. or even where it was coming from. That is crazy. I'm like, I ain't never going back to that place. Living in an apartment nah. complex had reported that she had been being stalked for months. Police would open an investigation, though there wasn't really too much they had to go off of. But that was until the woman's ring doorbell caught the man approach the front door on a bike wearing yes. a mask. The man would actually apologize for stalking the woman, though what he said next is pretty disturbing. I'm sorry. Looked in one day and saw you. Oh God, I can't stop. It's like, bruh, do you? Okay, let let me let me just go ahead and say this right now. Do you know how many women you're gonna come across in life that doesn't give you a right to stalk them? Like, do you honestly? My thing is, is this. Even if this was like a movie, like one of them like love story movies and stuff, when has it ever started off like this? Like, bro, you is you is weird for that, man. The man nah. claimed he couldn't stop, which basically confirms this man is not mentally well. Nah, where, not at all. Unfortunately, he can't help himself. To this day, the woman still reports seeing the man at her apartment. Yeah, get that man arrested. This doorbell camera footage seems to have captured an almost transparent-looking figure walking across the house owner's property in the middle of the night. The figure looks to have no face and seems to slowly become less visible as it continues to move. The audio oh, from nah, the video you gotta move the away. Noise of very faint footsteps. You gotta, yeah, you gotta move out that house. You have to move out, never return. I don't even care. I'm like, I ain't, I'm just gonna After just. After reviewing the footage and examining around the property, the house owner found nothing out of the ordinary. And it's still unclear what exactly was caught on video that night. Yeah, it's like something. Just a sign you gotta move. The owner of this house would wake up to a notification on his phone telling him motion was detected at his phone. Oh, door. I think I've seen this before. And Didn't she have like a footage, knife? This is what he found. There was an old woman with a knife just yeah. standing at his front door, constantly shifting her body weight from side to side. That the woman's woman crazy. Can be seen awkwardly holding and looking at the knife, as well as constantly glancing all around her. I caught the cops and been like, hey, yo, look, like, 
Sweetie Bird's grandmother out here acting up. Like, she she being mad, weird. She got a knife. I don't know where Tweety Bird is at, but y'all need to come up out here and freaking get her. Maybe not Tweety Bird's grandmother, but Carrie's After mom for seconds, a fact. She she's somebody in Hollywood. She can't bring herself to do it for whatever reason. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, I think I seen that like in another doorbell camera video. That's wild, man. People are weird. That is wild. And she's just standing there like she ain't even doing that and she's just... And after two minutes of footage, it cuts off. It's still unclear who this woman was or what caused her to walk up to a stranger's front door wielding a knife. That's wild. After hearing his doorbell go off, this San Diego house owner would look at his doorbell camera through his phone, and the camera revealed a supposed door-to-door -door salesman waiting outside. The house owner decided to confront the man with the doorbell speaker, and that's when the salesman claimed he was looking for the Robinsons residence at 712, which was not the house he was at. After being informed of this, the salesman would politely apologize for the mix-up. Is this the Robinson's residence at 712? Uh, now you're at the wrong house. It's 721. <laughs> oh, I apologize for that. Suspicious of the encounter, the house owner would send the footage to the local police department, who, disturbingly, confirmed that this exact man was suspected of breaking into at least 19 homes and impersonating a salesman to do so. Wow. The man has yet to be caught by police. That's crazy likely taking place during the whole killer clown craze of 2016. This ring door Telling you, man. the exact moment someone dressed in a clown costume walked up to its front door. The person can be People seen better stop doing well, I mean they ain't doing it no more, door, but almost the whole time staring directly into the camera. I don't it's know what was the whole reason of this. To scare people. There's a small chance something a lot more sinister is going on here. I'm like, that's how people end up getting killed. You can't go to nobody's house at carrying on like that. I don't think people be thinking. They only think like, oh, okay, this is going to be another break-in or another whatever. Like, what if this the person that lives in this house is like some freaking Marine that, you know, this man done killed like 20 terrorists when he was in touring around and stuff. And you done came to his house dressed up as a clown thinking like, nah, you is a clown, but you ain't no Pennywise clown, day, nah. It's still unclear whether the house owner experienced anything further regarding That's the situation. That's crazy. Hey, it's like, that man, it's like, like commando style? It's ash can footage. That's crazy. People weird, man. It's like, they can't just go out in public and just be normal. They gotta be weird about stuff. But anyways, um, yeah, interesting uh, video. But, yeah, you know, shout out to uh, Chillin' Scares for putting this video together. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.